Welcome to the Sportsnomic Podcast, where our capital is sports. The WBSC announced the 12 official sites for the Premier 12. Formula One's Sports Pesa Racing Point team looks to renew its corporate image. Verizon adds its CONCACAF soccer content to Yahoo Sports. Puma manages marketing agreement with the NBA. UEFA grows ever closer to China. Hello everyone, my name is Augusto Blacker and today we're going to be talking about stories that are making waves locally and globally in the sports industry. The World Baseball and Softball Confederation is well aware that the Premier 12 is one of its most important properties. During a recent trip to Mexico, the WBSC's president, Ricardo Fracari, announced that the city of Guadalajara, Jalisco, would in fact be one of the host cities for the upcoming regional qualifying for the Olympic Games. After failing to be an Olympic discipline for the Games in London 2012 and Rio 2016, the often called King of Sports will be back for the Summer Games in Tokyo 2020 and the Premier 12 will be awarding entries to the next Olympic competition. Mexico will be the host country for Group A and will be joined by the Olympic teams from the United States, Holland and the Dominican Republic. Potential Group of Death? I'd certainly say so. The host countries for Groups B and C will be Chinese Taipei and Korea, respectively. The Charros de Jalisco Stadium has already hosted games for both the Caribbean Series and the World Baseball Classic at the international level. Sports Pace Racing Point F1 team, known before as Force India, unveiled their new Formula One racing team and the new paint job their cars will be dressed with thanks to their recently signed high-profile sponsorship with water treatment company BWT. This all took place over the weekend at the Canadian International Auto Show in Toronto, where Checo Perez and Lance Stroll were in charge of the unveiling, which highlighted not only the team's traditional use of pink, but also the recently incorporated blue, which highlights BWT's sponsorship. Formula One's 2019 season gets underway in March, and the Sports Pesa Racing Point team is aiming to end the 2019 season amongst the top four, but would certainly prefer to be on the team championship's podium when all is said and done. The team's placing a lot of faith on Sergio's shoulders, but given his improving performances, the Mexican standout has to like his chances. So do we. Telecom giant Verizon Wireless, owners of Yahoo, have added the webcast rights to the CONCACAF properties they acquired from soccer's regional governing body to their online sports platform, Yahoo Sports, who will begin broadcasting CONCACAF Champions League matches later this week online. In addition to the CONCA Champions League matches, soccer enthusiasts have already been enjoying the streaming services offered through their app, through which they can watch MLS, Champions League, and Premier League matches. The agreement with Verizon includes the distribution rights for digital content in English, as well as the mobile and digital rights in the CONCACAF region, which includes, as I hope we all know, Canada, Mexico, the U.S., and the entire Caribbean. After a 20-year hiatus, Puma and the NBA are once again in business together as the German sports clothing and lifestyle brand Puma recently signed a multi-year marketing and shoe agreement with the NBA and several of its star players, something they believe will potentiate the brand's penetration with its teams, players, and fans. In the near future, Puma will have the newly acquired right to utilize league players' image rights in uniform along with NBA team logos as part of their marketing and advertising campaigns. With the clear intention of continuing to gain fan traction in the Asian marketplace, UEFA will increase its presence in China thanks to a service it has launched with Chinese instant chat company WeChat. The agreement will allow the powers that be at UEFA to be in much closer contact with consumers and consumer information throughout the Asian market via the most premium of all contents for football junkies. That's right, folks, we're talking about the UEFA Champions League, the Confederation's shiniest star as far as rights are concerned. In addition to its regular content, WeChat users will now have access to UEFA Champions League game summaries, stats, professional analysis, and exclusive interviews throughout the tournament, which ends its round of 16 elimination stage this coming week. Sounds like a win-win for all. Hope you enjoyed the podcast, and thanks to all of you for tuning in to one more edition of the Sportsnomics Podcast, where our capital is sports.